Welcome to my lecture online. Here we're going to take advantage of the fact that we've already done three videos where we had a differential equation with constant coefficients that was not homogeneous, it was not homogeneous, where we had each of these three functions as the function on the right side. And here in this example, we're going to add all these three functions together. The advantage is that we already know the particular solutions of these three functions if we use this as the left side of the differential equation. So from the previous video, if we make this into a homogeneous equation, the homogeneous solution was c1 e to the 4t plus c2 e to the t. Then using the method of undetermined coefficients, we were able to find the particular solution for g1, the particular solution for g2, and the particular solution for g3, and here they are. You can go back to the other videos and remember, yes, those were the solutions that we came up with, and we showed you how to find these. Then to find the solution to the entire differential equation, it becomes quite simple. We then realize that the solution of the differential equation, when we add all three functions together on the right side of the equation, this will be equal to the homogeneous homogeneous portion of the solution plus the sum of the three particular solutions if we write this equation in three separate ways. So then all we have to do is simply add everything together and we can then say that y, the solution to the original differential equation here, is equal to the homogeneous part c1 e to the 4t plus c2 e to the t plus the particular solution of the equation when we take this and set it equal, or this and set it equal to this alone, and we get plus, I think, it, no, it's minus, minus one half e to the three t. And then we take this equation and only set it equal to this and find the particular solution, which is over here. So it would be plus t squared plus seven over two t plus 21 over eight. And finally, we take this portion of the equation and only set it equal to this and find the coefficients using the method of undetermined coefficients and we get this as the particular solution so that would be minus one half times the sine of 2t and this then becomes the solution of what otherwise would look like a pretty mean equation but again we can take it each separately we take this, set it equal to that, solve for the particular solution. Take this, this, set it equal to that, solve for the particular solution. Take this, set it equal to this, solve for the particular solution. Here are the three solutions. If you want to remember how to do that, go back to the previous videos where we did these three examples, and then simply add them all together. And that becomes fairly simple in that respect. That's how it's done.